Welcome back to Mr. Ace Math. This lesson is on alternate interior angles. Stuff you should know are parallel lines, what they are, transversals, vertical angles, supplementary angles, and corresponding angles. Make sure you understand those topics, and then let's get started. So first of all, what are alternate interior angles? Let's break that down into different parts of the term. Interior. Interior simply means, in plain English, inside. So when we're talking about interior angles, we're talking about angles inside the parallel lines. So between the parallel lines, those angles that are inside or in between those parallel lines are interior angles. Now take the word alternate. Alternate means switched. In this case, it means the angles that are on different sides of the transversal. So if you put that all together, alternate interior angles are angles between parallel lines on opposite sides of the transversal. So if we have angle 3, the alternate interior angle for angle 3 is on opposite sides of the transversal, so that would be angle 6. Therefore, angle 3 and angle 6 are alternate interior angles. And alternate interior angles are congruent, which means that they're the same size. So, angle 3 is congruent to angle 6. This symbol right here means congruent. Little equal sign with a squiggle on top. That's a symbol for congruent. A good tip is to look for the Z outline. So, here we have that Z shape. So when you take one parallel line, then travel along the transversal, and then go along the other parallel line, that forms almost a Z shape or a zigzag. So that will help you find the alternate interior angles. Well, what other alternate interior angles do we have? We already said that we have angle three and angle six that are alternate interior, but what about angle four? What's the alternate interior angle for angle four? Well, that would be angle five. Therefore, angle four and angle five are alternate interior angles and they are congruent. So angle four is congruent to angle five. And like the last example, if we look for the zigzag, it's a lot easier to find. You see how we go from one parallel line along the transversal and then keep following along the other parallel line, we'll find the uh, alternate interior angles. The first thing we have to know is what our interior angles are. Remember, interior just means inside. Therefore, we're talking about what's on the inside of the parallel lines or in between the parallel lines. So between the parallel lines, we have these angles. But remember, we're talking about alternate interior angle, and alternate means switch sides. So we mean switch sides of the parallel lines and opposite sides of the transversal. So let's say we're talking about angle B. If we're talking about angle B, we're talking about opposite sides of the transversal on opposite or alternate sides of the parallel lines. So the other parallel line is here, and the other side of the transversal is this side. So we are talking about angle C. That means angle B and angle C are alternate interior angles, and they are congruent. And if we follow the tip to look for the zigzag, we can follow one of the parallel lines across the transversal and then down the other parallel line. Well, we know that B and C are alternate interior angles, but what if we're talking about angle G? So remember, alternate interior, it's on the inside of the parallel lines and on opposite parallel lines and on the opposite sides of the transversal. So if we're talking about angle G here, then on the opposite side of the transversal on the other parallel line is angle E, so angle E is the alternate interior angle. So angle E and angle G are alternate interior angles and they are congruent. Again, you could look for the zigzag, follow one parallel line across the transversal to the other parallel line. So which angles are alternate interior angles? Let's say we have angle C. What is the alternate interior angle for angle C? Well, angle C is on this parallel line on that side of the transversal. So we're gonna look at the other parallel line on the opposite side of the transversal. So that is angle X. How about angle W? Angle W is on this parallel line. So since it's on this parallel line, on this side of the transversal, it's on the other parallel line on the opposite side of the transversal. That means it's angle D. So angle W and angle D are alternate interior angles. What if we give, gave angle C a value? If we said angle C was 137 degrees, what would the measure of angle X be? Well, we know that angle C is 137. And since angle C and angle X are alternate interior angles, that means angle X would also have to be 137 degrees. 
Now, what would the measure of angle W be? Now, remember, we're saying angle C is 137 degrees. If angle C is 137 degrees, then that means that the measure of angle D is 43 degrees. So if the measure of angle D is 43 degrees, that's an alternate interior angle with angle W, and that will also be 43 degrees. There will be some cases where you don't just have a pair of parallel lines. You might have three parallel lines, but the same principles apply. So same question, which angles are alternate interior angles? What about angle two? Well, angle two, the alternate interior angles are angle 11 and five, and here's the reason why. If we just had these two parallel lines, you can clearly see that angle two and angle 11 are alternate interior angles. But if we had these two lines, then here, angle 2 and angle 5 are also interior angles. How about angle 12? Angle 12 is this angle here. What would the alternate interior angle for, for angle 12 be? That would be angle 5. How about angle 7? Well, angle 7 would be angle 4 and angle 10. And here's why. Angle 4 is here. It's in between these parallel lines. And it's on opposite sides of the transversal. So angle 7 and angle 4 are alternate interior angles. If we took away this parallel line and all the angles that go with it, then we're left with this parallel line here. So if we're left with this parallel line here, we have these are interior angles. But the alternate interior angle for angle 7, it's on the other parallel line on the opposite side of the transversal. That would be angle 10. And how about angle 4? Angle 4 is here, so it would have to be inside these two parallel lines on the opposite side of the transversal, so our answer is angle 7. So here's your pause and practice. Just pause and practice. When you're done, unpause the video. After a 3, 2, 1 countdown, your answer will be displayed. Go. Okay, so number one, the alternate interior angle for angle three is angle 10. It's next to the other parallel line on the interior on the other side of the transversal. Therefore, it is the alternate interior angle. Number two, the alternate interior angle for angle two is angle 11. It's on the other parallel line on the opposite side of the transversal. Therefore, that's the alternate interior angle. Number three, angle 10. The alternate interior angle for angle 10 is angle 3. It's next to the other parallel line on the interior on the other side of the transversal. And number 4, the alternate interior angle for angle 11 is angle 2. It's next to the other parallel line on the interior on the other side of the transversal. If the measure of angle 2 is 39 degrees, then what is the measure of angle 11? Well, angle 2 and angle 11 are alternate interior angles, so they are congruent. That would be 39 degrees as well. The measure of angle 10 is actually 141 degrees. And the reason why that is is because if the measure of angle 2 is 39 degrees, remember, like I said before, for this lesson, you should be comfortable with supplementary angles. If this is 39 degrees, then angle 10 is going to have to be 141 degrees because they are supplementary angles. And the measure of angle 3, since we now know the measure of angle 10 is 141 degrees, angle 10 and angle 3 are alternate interior angles. Therefore, the measure of angle 3 is also 141 degrees. Let's review. Two lines that never cross are called parallel lines. A line that passes through a set of parallel lines is called a transversal. Angles that are inside a pair of parallel lines but are on opposite sides of the transversal are called alternate interior angles. And alternate interior angles are congruent. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.